people lining the terraces here at Ipswich waiting for the start of this event. A few moments ago, the Hot Rods went round and did their two laps to warm up the tyres, and they're now ready on their final warming up lap. And the man who put up the fastest time in practice this morning, in fact, is the defending title holder from Northern Ireland, driving car number 962, Ormond Christie. Just hundredths of a second separated about the first eight cars on this starting grid. And the man who lines up alongside him is car number 88, Chris Griggs. The second row is 128, Pete Winston, a former Hot Rod European champion, and the man who in fact had the battle for the lead place, 932 there, Davey Evans. The man who in fact crossed the line first last year and was dropped one place is fourth on the grid. As the green flag goes down and they're on their way for the Motorquip Hot Rod Championship of the World, the 75 laps of this Ipswich circuit to come. And straight into the lead is number 88, Chris Griggs. Defending title holder Ormond Christie in 962 is in second place. 932, Davy Evans is third. 351, Barry Lee has come straight through into fourth place. 128, Pete Winston is next. Then comes car number 88, Peter Grimer. Behind him is number 8, Paul Grimer. But this is the battle for the lead. The two Northern Ireland drivers are there. 180, that's a back marker car there. That's uh, from Germany, Hoss Puttgartnik from West Germany in 180, who's now getting himself mixed up uh, with the leaders. But that's the leader, 88 is Chris Griggs. Nine thirty-two, Davy Evans in the Chevette in second place. Nine sixty-two, Ormond Christie in the Toyota Starlet is next. Eighty-eight. Nine three two. Nine six two. Three five one. Eighty-eight. One two eight. Then three oh six. George Polly. Then it's one five six and two four two. The European champion, in fact, uh, Pete Stevens is in there. Round some of the slower backmarker cars they come, touching 70 miles an hour going into the straights here at Ipswich. That's the leading group, 88, 932, 962, 351, Barry Lee is there. And Barry Lee is now third, with Ormond Christie alongside him in fourth place. Then it's Peter Grimer in 88, Pete Winston in 128, George Polly in 306. Alongside George Polly. Oh, a little bit of switching and changing there as they cross lanes. 9.32, 3.51, Barry Lee. So 11 laps gone now in this uh, 75 lap late. They wheedle past some of these slower cars. 9.32, 3.51, 88 losing ground now. Sun's gone in for a little and the drivers will be pleased about that because 75 laps is a long way to go and one of the big problems of course is making the tyres retain their grip for the entire duration of this race. 14 laps are gone. Nine, three, two, three, five, one. Little way back, it's 88, then 128, then 306, then 962. Then it's 156, Stuart Jackson. There's Davy Evans, trying to get past the, some of the slower backmarker cars. 44 is Rod Burley, 101 is Vaughan Scott. And at the moment, they're presenting a little bit of an obstacle to the leading group. Barry Lee moving up on the inside. That's the sort of congestion that they're facing. And trouble there, 101. In fact, Vaughan Scott goes right up in the air, and he's out of the race now. Representative from PRI. So here we come. Two back markers in front of Barry Lee, 351. And it's 932. Past the slower 28 back marker car they go. That's Ronald Vandermeers of Belgium. One past the uh, VW Golf 
uh, now of one of the other German drivers. But it's 3-5-1, Barry Lee. 9-32 in second place. Then we've got a bit of a gap to 88. Then we've got one uh, back marker, then it's 128, Pete Winston, then 306, George Polly, and 242 is the next man, and 242 is Pete Stevens from the Midland. He's the reigning national, European and English champion, and right on form, it certainly can't be discounted, although the others, these cars have got a little bit of a lead at the moment. In a race of this duration, that doesn't matter. There's only 20 laps have gone, and there's still 55 more to go, and this man is up front. A driver who certainly knows his way around Ipswich and certainly knows the, what it's like to be filling the top positions in this sport. Those of you who remember our meeting, uh, we did coverage of the Winter Nationals at Wimbledon back in January. We had a, ca a camera fixed inside Barry Lee's car on that occasion, but of course it does add a lot of weight. And in a race as crucial as this, Barry really didn't want the handicap of having to carry the camera. In fact, Barry has gone to extraordinary lengths to lighten that car in order to try and get peak performance. The aerofoil on the back is new. Various new breathing techniques have been employed on the car. The scoops on the side just ahead of the rear wheels to bring air in to try and cool the brakes. And they've drilled holes in things. They've stripped out the dashboard and really tried to lighten the car as much as possible. So there we are, former world champion Barry Lee. He was world champion in 73 and in 74 and in 77 and 78, bidding now to make it five wins in this. 3-5-1, Barry Lee out in front. And the man who, in fact, crossed the line in this race first last year, 9.32 from Northern Ireland, Davy Evans, only, uh, in fact, to be put down one place because on that final lap when he nipped past Norman Christie, he bumped him as he went past. And, of course, this is a non-contact formula. He was penalised one place, and that put Norman Christie up to become the world champion. So, uh, really, I suppose, having... Uh, in some ways lost it at the la dying throes of the race last year. He certainly wants to make sure that he's in at the finish this time. Both of them now, of course, coming up behind some of the back markers. And on a short circuit like this, this, of course, is one of the problems. You've got to be prepared to really get stuck in there and pick your way, take your chances, look for the gaps. And when they appear, go through. Well, there's a man who certainly can't be discounted in this race. 242 Pete Stevens. He's the uh, national champion, the European champion, and the English champion, right on form. Spends most of his time racing in the Midlands at Hensford Hills Raceway, at Buxton, and at Brayfield. A very smart car, and at the moment, uh, he's somewhere back in about sixth place, I think. So here are the leaders, picking them off, going past the 215 Doug McMahon car from Bobbingdon Raceway in Hertfordshire, who's one of the back markers. So it's 351 Barry Lee with 932 Davy Evans sitting right on his tailor. Right on his tail, rather. 44 is Rod Burley, who they're just overtaking. A class, uh, a class BMW uh, in uh, car number 180. His husband, Gartnick of West Germany, they were just passing there. Some of the Continental drivers don't really seem to have uh, got cars that are capable of competing on this fast Ipswich raceway. But at the moment, certainly they're not figuring in the places. So it's 9 uh, 3 5 one Barry Lee, 9 3 2, Davy Evans in second place. In third place, it's car number 88. And behind him is 306. When I say 88, it's 88 Peter Grimer, because in fact there are two 88 cars in this. There's Chris Griggs, who was uh, the early leader, and uh, number 88 Peter Grimer. It's uh, him that's in second, third place rather at the moment. 306, George Polly is in uh, fourth position. And then we go back to 57, Alan Dent, from Abbott Slangley in Hertfordshire. He is running fourth. Then comes Pete Stevens in 242, who is fifth. And we've got problems here, one of the back markers, the 140 car of Graham Waite from Scotland, the reigning Scottish champion, a little bit of smoke coming out of there. Now, whether that's something rubbing, yes, it, in fact it is. The bodywork, you can see, is touching the tyre. I don't know how much longer that tyre is going to last, but I should think that really, yes, indeed, it has put paid to the chances of Scottish champion 140, Graham Waite. That's the end of the race from him. 
Meanwhile, we've got 9.30, John Barry Lee is in trouble, and Barry Lee has got problems, moved to the outside of the track, and as we went back and rejoined them there, Barry Lee is smoking, and that puts 9.32, Davey Evans goes past, and Barry Lee has got big trouble, there's a lot of smoke now coming out of that car, now, I wonder what has gone there, it doesn't look like oil smoke, but it is obviously, that's the finish of the race for Barry Lee when he was going so well, so his chance to go back fifth for the fifth time as world champion is now gone.